Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. Do you mind? Do you want to? No, okay. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Matt Kaiser. Oh, Jackson Lynch. CJ Hall. Kathy. Oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so uh, we our project was a basketball court, but we went through a bunch of or a couple of different ideas. We originally started with John had an idea of doing a door handle uh, that he had already previously designed, but the problem was is we weren't sure about the tolerances of like the whole entire door handle was already compiled and I guess made. So like having the screws and stuff like that and all the mechanisms was going to be just a little too complicated for us. Uh, then we were going to do an adjustable wrench, but we couldn't think of how to do the helical gears for that. Um, and so we ended up with, I guess we had the car idea, and then we, uh, with basketball season coming up, I guess we decided on a basketball court. Um, we kind of thought of those, you know, the little things you pull back and pop and shoot into the hoop. Um, yeah, So uh, the first step was to design and install the rooms. Uh, <coughs> CJ, with his extensive refereeing knowledge at the rec, uh, was able to tell us the exact dimensions of the basketball court. So that was our first step to do it. We had a, uh, uh, did all the standard lines and did them to uh, the specifications. Just a few like basic features on it. Um, when I was doing the like court part, I wanted you to be able to see like there was like an obvious three-point arch and like the free throw line, like the center circle. So I just um, extruded those out. Um, you see the square at the top, which is where the basketball, the actual goal, sets in there. And then the two circles are basically the like legs of the bench goes in, so the players can sit down. Um, and then I put OKC on it. I was bored, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just here's the bench. So the dimensions for that. Um, it's just like a quarter inch uh, wide, 0.2 inches long, and the cylinders are one inch apart. Um, so it's just a basic little bench that sits down in the holes. Um, the basket was more complex just because um, I made the court four inches by four inches. So the basket itself, unless I wanted to make it massive, was tiny. Um, so the base is half an inch by half an inch. <coughs> it's an inch tall, um, which that part wasn't terrible. The hard part was the backboard and the rim. So like the original design, we had the square going up with like a piece connecting out with the backboard attached to that. Totally screwed up. So I eliminated that um, and then went with this, which you can't really see, but basically it just goes from the base straight to the backboard. Um, and then the rim, uh, so I printed it like this. So it wasn't terrible. Um, support we needed in the middle, but it was difficult because it was so tiny. Other than that, it wasn't bad. <coughs> so these are just some pictures of the painting the process. And you can see here the build material going between the rim. Something that also kind of touched upon it. We printed it the first time, and one of the corners looked it up. And CJ, if you want to touch on your explanation. Yeah, at all. so I think one more slide forward is like problems. Oh. So one of the problems was um, that I figured out, I don't know if this is like common or what, but it just wasn't dense enough. So when it was printing, it just wasn't sticking to the platform very well. I made it more dense um, and it worked perfectly this time. So um, I'm guessing density has something to do with it. That's kind of what I concluded from it. But another problem we had was, I'm just not that great at SolidWorks. Um, yeah, it's been a long time. Um, like I said, the goal and the rim are small, so they were harder to print. Uh, it was doable, but it was just so tiny. That, like one of them I made, I dropped it. It was broke anyway, but it like destroyed. So that was sad. Um, and then the Creator Pro, I just hate to be honest. It's hard to use. It, the uh, single nozzle one was much easier and just worked better. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess takeaway: SolidWorks can be tough to use if you're not familiar with it. Uh, small parts are hard to. That rim was definitely difficult to print out. Um, density, like CJ was talking about, matters in terms of, trying, I guess, for sticking to the board. Um, dimensionalize everything as you go in SolidWorks. So I guess what I meant by that is like, the first, I started doing it and I didn't even account for dimensions. And then I was like, oh no, 
like the quartz like oranges and the ribs like it does it wasn't like scaled properly so if you do it as you go it just makes everything easier i did it at the end at once it was the worst idea i've ever had <laughs> uh time consuming through solidworks and then printing out just if you mess up you're gonna have to sit there and do it again printing takes forever and 3d printing is very fun <laughs> so so i guess what we learned okay question uh, I have a question. So, why didn't you just print all the components together? Why? Like this attached? Uh huh. So you could remove it and take it out and like the bench aspect of it. It's more fun to play with. It was, if I would have done it all together, it uh -huh. you had more support materials here. Uh -huh. um, and I, just, I thought it was easier to eliminate some of the support materials where needed, uh -huh. as much as I possibly could at least. Okay. Any more questions? I tried to print a ball, but it was uh -huh. so tiny that every uh -huh. time it would print, it would knock it out of the way, and like it wasn't a ball. So mm -hmm. I didn't make a ball. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, good that. What is the problem? Because we don't have time, and we're running out of time.